If called Speeden, does the Home Secretary agree that no one should be above the law? Yeah. Well, as I as I said earlier, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, last summer I was speeding. I regret that. I paid the fine and I took the penalty. And at no point did I attempt to evade sanction. Does the Home Secretary think that speed should be people should, who speed should be given the option to get private speeding awareness courses rather than doing them with everyone else? And in her own case, what exactly did she ask her civil servants to help her with? Ah. Mr Speaker, hope, hopefully we're not going to be too repetitive today. But uh, as I said earlier, last summer I was speeding. I regret that. I paid the fine and I accepted the points and at no point did I seek to evade the sanction. She refused to say what she asked civil servants to do, so I ask her that again and to also tell us whether she authorised her special adviser to tell journalists that there wasn't a speeding penalty when there was. Mr Speaker, as I have said earlier, in the summer of last year I was speeding. I regret that. I paid the fine and I accepted the points. At no time did I seek to avoid the sanction. So shouldn't the same motoring offence and indeed further breaches of the ministerial code by attempting to get special treatment yes. affect the Home Secretary's rights to remain in her job? As I have said earlier, in the summer I was speeding. I regret that I was speeding. I accepted the points and I paid the fine, and at no point did I seek to avoid the sanction.